Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to introduce myself to you and explain a little bit about what I'm doing here. What's up everybody? I'm Sarah. Welcome to my channel. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm new at this, so uh, bear with me here. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about a new YouTube series that I'm starting today. Um, today is actually day one of my prep for my upcoming figure competition. And so I am 16 weeks out. And I decided that I wanted to start a YouTube channel and begin vlogging because YouTube has been a huge part of my fitness journey. I have been competing for a little over two years and so I have followed a lot of other women that do a similar thing and um, compete or just have YouTube channels as fitness and lifestyle. And so a lot of them I really admire. I feel like they put out some really great content. Um, I've learned a lot of information through watching YouTube videos. Um, I watch YouTube videos while I'm doing cardio. It just ends up being a way that I can get more information. And so I've been looking for other women that are out there creating content um, for figure as a division within bodybuilding. And most of the women that I follow um, are bikini competitors. I haven't found very many that compete in figure. And so, you know, I guess I'm, I'm a firm believer in create content that you crave. And so I wanted to be able to put myself out there and show you a little bit about how I prep for a figure competition. Um, by no means am I like a professional at this or have I been doing this forever and ever and know everything that there is to know. I am, I truly believe in being a lifelong learner. I want to continue growing and learning new things all the time. And so this is more my way of just trying to document the process that I'm going through over the next 16 weeks and hopefully share with you some things that you might be interested in knowing about. Um, I'll be sharing some things about diet and food prep and meal planning. Um, I'll be sharing workouts and workout routines with you, um, just some lifestyle stuff and the realities of being in a competition prep and sometimes it can really impact other parts of your life and and so you know I'm willing to share all of that with you. Um, you know I will tell you that in addition to my fitness life and everything that I do in that avenue. I also work as a full-time teacher, and so I teach third grade. And so trying to balance everything can also be challenging. And so I just, you know, I'm not like paid to do this. And I, you know, a lot of times I'll try and keep it in perspective is like, this is a hobby for me, you know, when I compete and try to push myself and learn new things. And every time that I come out of a, a competition prep, I always feel like I learn new things about myself. And so the journey is amazing. This will be just an awesome way for me to document what I go through in the next 16 weeks. So I'm glad that you're coming along for the journey. Um, hopefully I'll get better at making these vlogs over time, but this is just kind of my first go. I also am a firm believer in just start, just begin. And so, you know, as long as you're starting something new, you might as well just give it everything that you can right out the gate and learn as you go. Um, you know, what I've known about myself is if I don't start something and I have the best of intentions to start and I just tell myself like, oh, I'll start that like when, when the stars align and everything, I'm ready to go and everything's set up for it. Chances are I won't ever feel that way and so I don't ever start. And so if I give myself permission to just say, you know what, things might not all be lined up and I might not have every, all my ducks in a row, but I'm just gonna start exactly where I am, then usually that gives me the momentum to get going and I can continue to improve and grow and learn. And so that's really my motivation here with making these YouTube videos is that like, they will not be perfect. They will not have the best editing and all of that out the gate. I'm really hoping that I can learn as I go with this. And I've had 
coaches for the last two years. And so really at this point, I think that it's really coming down to execution. And so this vlog prep series is going to be called Execute. Um, so this is episode one of Execute. This prep that I'm going through right now, I'm choosing not to prep with a coach. I'm choosing to do it on my own. And so I know a lot about macros. I know a lot about my body. And I'm just going to kind of see how my body goes through this prep. And so where I'm starting at this morning, body fat tested and um, using the pinch method. I've also had DEXA scans in the past. I've had DEXA scans right before both my last two shows this last spring in 2016 and then um, about six weeks ago when I competed in November. Um, so I had the DEXA scan done at the end of my prep. I've never had a DEXA scan at the beginning of my prep and normally I've gone based on you know progress pictures and what I'm looking like throughout the course of prep each week and doing weekly weigh-ins and so this morning I did a weigh-in with um, a new trainer that I'm working with. I wouldn't necessarily consider him a prep coach because he's not giving me diet um, and just you know supplements, all of the things that I have gotten from a prep coach in the past, but what he is giving me is really specific and tailored workouts and so that has been something that I don't feel like I really had yet in a prep and so I'm really looking forward to working with him. He just is such um, an expert in his craft and so like I said I just always believe in continuing to grow and learn and so I'm excited for what I have yet to learn from him. Um, but they did the caliper body fat test on me this morning and it's looking like I'm coming in at about 18% body fat. I'll just kind of give you an idea of like where I'm starting from. now. You know, having done this for several years now, what I can tell you is that my body composition is completely different than when I first started prep like two years ago. Um, I don't know what my starting body fat percentage was two years ago, like before I ever stepped on stage, but what I can tell you is that my very first weigh in with my first coach, I think it was 166. And I had lived an active lifestyle as a swimmer all growing up, but I just had never tailored my workout regimen to trying to become a bodybuilder or compete in bodybuilding. So in the last two years, I made a lot of growth and a lot of changes. Um, so if you're someone who's coming from a background of never having done weightlifting, um, your body composition is going to be really different. And so I guess that's the one thing that I want to say is that in this prep series, in no way should you try to compare yourself to me and my progress. Like, please take what you can and, um, you know, informational wise and use that to your advantage. But every single person's body is different. And that's one thing that I've learned a lot of from doing this and competing on teams with other women that are prepping as well is that we all have different meal plans. We all have different workout plans. Everybody's different based on what your body needs. And so there isn't like this one cookie cutter, one size fits all program that's gonna work for you. You gotta kind of figure it out on your own or through the help of a coach. There's a lot of things about being in a prep that, you know, tips that will help you out along the way. And a huge part of competing and prep in general is mental. Like, I didn't believe that when I first heard people talk about that, but it's so true. And there's a huge part of it that has to do with like your self-talk. So how are you talking to yourself? Is it positive? Is it negative? Some people, a lot of people don't even pay attention to it. I know I didn't. Like before I started this, I was like, what do you mean self-talk? I don't, you know, but now I think about it all the time is what is the voice or the tone that I'm using to talk to myself, whether it's in the middle of a workout, whether it has to do with how I'm eating or whether or not I'm preparing myself or setting myself up for success. There's self-talk going on in my head all the time. And so if I can really tailor that to helping me be successful, especially in a prep, it has completely changed how I view my life and going throughout my day, day to day. Um, anyways, enough for now. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of meal prep and I'll bring you along for the ride. Okay. Okay. So I am getting ready to do some meal prep. 
and so I have my things out that I'm trying to get ready to <laughs> prepare. Um, I like to keep it kind of simple because for any of you who are just starting your meal prep stuff, um, you know, you could spend a long time meal prepping if you're trying to make your diet really complicated or maybe your coach has your diet complicated. But in the past, the things that have worked the best for me have been pr like pretty simple. I have some Foster Farms ground turkey. This is the 93% lean. You can actually buy it quite a bit leaner than this. I think it goes up to like 97% lean. Um, but this is from Costco. I think you can get a four pack at Costco. And so it's a better price. Um, so I'm going to be making some of that. I also have some Foster Farms. Not my favorite to buy Foster Farms, but this is what they had at Costco as well. Um, this came actually in six different packs. So this is two out of the six and it's quite a bit of meat. And what you'll find is that when you are meal prepping and you're eating a lot of protein, it can get pretty expensive pretty fast. And so um, the price on these was $2.99 per pound. That is definitely the cheapest that I have seen it. Um, I went ahead and what I'll do is I'll buy like a huge chunk of meat and then just cook them as I need them. So um, this whole thing for six packets was $20. But for a week, two of these should probably be enough for me. Um, I like to use this Worcestershire sauce. It has one gram of sugar in it, um, which isn't bad. So one carb, um, five calories per teaspoon. So be careful with that. Like don't go, don't go overboard. Um, but then for carbs, um, I need to pick up some sweet potatoes. But for right now, I'm going to be making some brown rice. Um, I also can buy my brown rice like this called ready rice. And you just put it in the microwave for like 90 seconds and... Um, it's ready to eat, so that's pretty easy. But the one thing I'll say about these is that they're kind of expensive. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I am getting everything ready to start prepping. Um, and here I have my brown rice. And um, when you're making brown rice, I mean, you can use a rice cooker if you want to, but I also have used this and it works just fine. Um, the ratio of rice to water is one to two. So for every cup of rice, you want to use two cups of water. And I mentioned earlier about, well, they're called tenderloins. The, the reason that I like the tenderloins over like a chicken breast is because the tenderloins are a smaller cut of meat and it cooks through a lot better than a chicken breast. So in the past I've bought chicken breasts and they end up being so thick that when you're eating chicken every day over and over again, it just gets to the point where you're so sick of eating chicken. And so the texture of a chicken breast, if it is at all like rubbery because it's so thick, can be really rough. So um, I have gone with these um, tenderloins here because they are a, a smaller slice of meat and yeah we're gonna cook some of those up even if it makes me blind i just want to see the light breathe in leave it all behind i just want to see the everything got started um here is the ground turkey and the chicken and then this is chicken too um, what I wanted to mention were some of the seasonings and oils that I use. So, um, I like the Pam sprays. I use the olive oil, but then also the coconut oil. We're almost out of this one. Um, for seasonings, the Miss, Mrs. Dash seasonings are really good because they are salt free. Um, and same with this one, this organic no salt seasoning from Costco. Both of those are good choices. Um, it's not that salt or sodium is bad for you in a prep, but it will make you hold some water. And so I like to, like I will salt my food, especially when I'm like mid prep and in the gym, like two hours a day. When you sweat, your body naturally will lose sodium. And so it's important to replace that, but you just don't want to overdo it. And so like I won't salt any of the food that I make before while I'm prepping it, but then before I eat, after I heat it up again, I will salt it if I feel like I need it. This is Omar, by the way, my husband. 
Say hi, Omar. Hi. <laughs> okay, so um, everything is finishing up over there. And so now comes the part in the meal prep where putting it all in the refrigerator. Now, I have a couple different options for Tupperware. Um, I got this set of Tupperware from Costco like a year ago, I think. And it came with like some larger sizes, um, the like lunch size, like this. And then it came with some of this size right here. And then I also have this size. These came with our six pack bags. Um, so what I like to do is if it's something I'm going to eat at night, I normally don't portion that out. I'll just put it in the large Tupperware container and then each night I'll portion it out before I heat it up. But for lunches, I'll portion everything into the lunch size container so that I can take it in my six pack bag to work with me. Um, and then I measure everything using this scale and you can measure it using whatever unit that you like, like it goes to grams or ounces. Um, I measure all my meat in ounces rather than grams and it's really a personal preference thing. Some people do it in grams. Um, but I'll just kind of show you how I do that. I just want to see, the, I just want to see the light. I just want to see, the, I just want to see the light. meal prepping and I'll show you what it looks like now at the end um, so I basically have eight meals made um, these four are my like, lunch meal so I'll have this around noon it has three ounces of chicken a half a cup of rice and about a half a cup of green meat. this is my like pre-workout meal um, so instead of the rice, a half a cup of rice, I used a half a cup of the cauliflower mash. And so like I said, I've never tried this before. I just steamed it in the microwave and I'll let you know how that goes. Um, so then like my morning, um, I usually do like an overnight oat um, for my first meal in the mornings. And then I usually will have like a protein bar as a mid-morning snack. And then, as I mentioned before, my evening meal, I will just make, when I get home, everything is in the refrigerator in terms of the foods already cooked and made. Um, it's just right down there. Um, so I have my ground turkey, there's some rice, there's sweet potato, and then there's some more of that um, cauliflower mash. So I should be set for the week. Um, I hope that this video helped you if you were first time meal prepper. I know some of this is not like rocket science, but a lot of people are overwhelmed by food prepping and they feel like they can't do it or just don't know where to start. So hopefully this helps some of you and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.